Welcome back. We have joining us from Indiana, the United States, Dr. Abdulaziz Bako, who's a health policy management specialist from the University of Indiana. Thank you for joining us on the program. Thank you for having me. All right. So we understand that some schools in the U.S. have recorded new cases of COVID-19. This was shortly after um, they resumed activities after weeks of lockdown. In fact, we understand that um, a student of one of such schools at Indiana tested positive, um, and this was barely a few hours after classes resumed. What's the situation? Yeah, sadly, yes. Um, before the reopening of these schools, there has been a lot of uh, concerns among the policy circles and people that are uh, concerned as well as scientists about the implications of reopening schools. This is something that should be expected, um, given that there are still not enough tests available and not enough uh, capabilities to um, sort of look for people with the science of the disease and um, uh, identify and also identify and trace their contacts. So these, this is something that has been expected and uh, we can only hope that it doesn't get worse. Now, we're also seeing that Nigeria is reopening, especially for exiting students. Um, do you have fears as well? And this is when you also look at the last couple of days and the virus curve. Yeah, I mean, I am really, really concerned about the reopening of schools um, in Nigeria. Adults are not concerned about the disease so much. I think the sentiment is much more around uh, the people are thinking that the disease has gone away or that's the general mentality of a lot of people. And if adults are not so concerned and are not complying with the uh, protocols and some of the advices on how to protect oneself from the disease, uh, you can imagine how what will happen to kids if they are allowed to come back to the school. And by the way, uh, you know, kids are mostly the are a chief or you know the main people that transmit diseases to adults, especially in, from school. So uh, reopening schools will be a, a subject of concern to anyone who is uh, who understands. Um, respiratory tract infections. Do you think that the world is learning anything, and this is also in terms of healthcare systems and building up the capacity for perhaps even future pandemics? I think a lot of uh, countries have learned a lot from this disease, from uh, strengthening the healthcare systems, um, to understanding the public health protocols as well as, well as epidemic curves. Uh, some countries have actually, you know, succeeded in copying and pasting policies from other states without, you know, looking into the realities on ground in their situation or in their country or in their states. And I think that's a real problem. Uh, a lot of countries have not learned enough to prevent future effects. And indeed, they need to perhaps tighten their belts. We'd like to thank you, uh, Dr. Abdulaziz Bako, Health Policy Management Specialist, Indiana University. Thank you for joining us on the program. Thank you for having me.